Hello, folks. You guys have a uh, Craftsman lawnmower and you broke the string? Or old age and the string breaks on you? Yeah, that sucks. So now we're going to change the spring. You guys ever do it before? Not me. Never did it before. But we're going to try. I'm going to show you how I did it. Three screws takes off the cover. Okay? This comes off with the whole assembly. Now you could buy the whole assembly from Briggs and Stratton if you want. Otherwise, you could just buy a replacement string. This is a replacement string. Got it from a tractor trailer supply. It's about six bucks. All right? You can use the original handle if you want or use the black handle that they come with. So I'm going to show you how I did this. Let's see if I set you up here for a second. <clears throat> now, the way it comes off is there's a little clip here. Okay, this clip comes off. There's a white piece. There's a little um, yellow piece. And then there's a spring in between. Now, I'm going to show you how I took this off. Pry this off over here. Just lift that up a little bit out of the way. I spun it around this way. And I was able to get the clip off. There's a little spring in there. It's not going to pop out, so don't get scared. This is going to come out with the amber piece or the yellow piece. Okay? Comes out as one assembly. Put that off to the side. Then there's a tiny little spring in there that holds that off to the side. Then this piece here is going to come out. You're going to hear it make like a little spring sound sometimes. Let's see if it does it. Hear that? <laughs> that means that spring that was in there sprung and just turned all the way around. So, I'm going to pull this out. Okay, I'm going to show you why. This piece right here, this flat piece right here, okay, of the spring, is going to lay in the slot that's in here. Okay, see it? I can put the screwdriver in it. That's going to fit right in that little slot. So when you put it back, that spring has to sit in that spot. That spot's going to hold the spring while the other piece turns. If you put it on, you miss it, the whole thing's going to spin. You don't get that return. Okay, so that flat spot has to sit in there. So the string, you just tie a little knot over here. Wind it all the way around. Okay, the handle has its own little knot. I'm going to show you how I did that knot. <clears throat> I just followed the knot the way they did it on there at the factory. Not a good knot person. So, but I'm going to show you a trick. If you look through the hole here, you don't see that flat spot. You see it down there. Okay? The problem is that when you put it on, you can't get that piece to line up. Okay? So, that's where the problem is. There's a slot right there, see? That's a slot. And this is how I'm gonna get that piece in there. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna get an idea of where the slot is. Line it straight up like this, so I know that's where it is. And this is what I made. I made a piece of wood. You probably use a toothpick if you want. I took a barbecue uh, skewer, which is normally round. I took my little knife okay and I trimmed it down so it's almost flat okay so because it's flat I'm gonna go right in here and I'm gonna kind of guide the spring behind there so like I said before you did the rope and I'm gonna look for that spring there it is right there okay, I'm gonna pop it up for you okay stick this little flat rod in there and hold it just like that okay so what I did there so now oops coming apart so now when I go to put it in let me see if I can do it this way I have enough string dun, 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 dun. yeah it looks like I got enough string all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna guide that stick into that little slot there as it's coming down. Can you see that? Okay. Remember where the slot was. You can stick the stick in there, let hold, 
and this thing is just going to guide it right down into it. I have to give it a little bit of a wiggle. And then it's going to fall right in there. And the slot is going to be right in where it's supposed to be. And I can pull the rod out. I don't know if you can see it in there. Okay, but you can see the little metal rod is in that slot. And that's going to give you that spring tension. All right. If you miss it, believe me, the thing is going to keep spinning like a whatever. <laughs> okay, spring goes back in. You know, a little piece here goes back in. It's going to, can't go this way. Goes back in this way. All right. And then this is spring loaded. Time to put the clip back on. So we're going to push it down. You can put one side of the clip on if you want. And just bend it over to the other side. Ouch, got my glove. All right, that's it. Double check, spring, it turns, flip it over, and now you're gonna have your little spring back. All right, it's got a little dirt in here. You can clean it if you want to. I don't know, you can spray with brake cleaner or something like that, but here's just a little pullback. All right, and that's it. Now you gotta put it back with the uh, three screws, and then you're good to go. All right. Oh, you got to cut the length on your string too. So, depending on how long your string is. But mine broke. I have no idea how long it used to be. So, I cut a couple pieces off over here. All right. I use a little uh, blowtorch over there. And, and you can, after you cut the string so it doesn't get frayed. So, it don't look like that. That's what it looks like. And I'll show you how they, they did this, this knot. Now, they did this knot... They went around, oh, let's see, they went around like this. They went under it, like that, to make it a little longer so it could do it, okay? And they pulled this, they came down like this. That's what they did, that's how it came out. Holds pretty strong. All right, pretty cool, right? Like I said, you heat that up with a little torch, so I won't be frayed. Pull the crap out of it, so nice and tight. Let's see if we can torch it for you. I like to give it a little spin. Torch. A little nylon string. That way it won't be frayed. It actually turns a little hard. All right. That's it. Put that back on with the three screws and let's go cut some grass. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Ciao. All right. For those of you that watch my videos and some people complain, they never actually see me turning some screws they want to know how they turn this I don't know there's some screws everybody knows how to remove and replace but some people complain all right eight millimeter screws then comes right off look at that voila okay so I'm gonna put it back you line it up and you put your eight millimeter screws back on all right that's it not gonna go there and speed this up. This is live. Okay? Turn it down evenly. How was that? There you go. Voila. All right, let's give it a crank. Might have made the string a little bit too long.
All right, if it's too long, just cut the wire and you're good to go. Thanks for watching again. Ciao.